So this is the most expensive golf club I've ever owned. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, this is by a large margin the most expensive golf club I've ever owned, and I am expecting it to be one of the best that I've ever tried. Now, you might recognize this logo. It's Adel. David Adel makes custom putters, and I went ahead and ordered his newest line of putters, the EAS. Now, I want to just unbox this for you because it just came. So, true unboxing here. Comes in this cool box here, and then what do we get? There is the putter itself. No. I feel like there should be some music here. So you do get this carbon fiber looking Adele putter cover. I really like these because it's magnetic and then totally fur lined, kind of like my bed sheets. And then there's the putter. Man, this thing is sweet looking. I mean, it's got a Scotty Cameron like look to it, man. I mean, this machining is just awesome. I'm kind of gushing a little bit about this. Now, I'm also kind of nervous because I have never spent as much money on a golf club as I have on this one. It does come with the Adele grip here. I think I ordered the standard, but you can customize that. They are round grips. As you can see here, they've got a rubber grippy feel to them. The top portion here has these little circles that are embedded so you know where to line up. You've got the Adele logo color filled there, the Adele logo design on the shaft right there. So what I got is like a barrel grip here. So it should be kind of the same width all the way down, which is kind of nice because most of the grips I've ever had are just tapered. And so it's not bad, but I think you want a really light grip. And so when you have a lot of surface area, you can take a light grip and still have nice control over the putter. A steel shaft here, what you can see here is we have a little kink here. And this little kink here, while it looks like pretty standard, is actually part of a lot of science that goes into these putters. Now, Let's get down here to the EAS and what makes this a little bit different. First of all, these are all milled and the machining is absolutely beautiful. I mean, no sharp edges. You can just see it's nice and rounded. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And then on the front here is where they have changed this up a little bit. So we have these milling marks right here. You can see that it's kind of gives it a little bit of a shine, a little polish over there. But then what we have here on the hitting surface are these little dimple pattern. And this kind of looks a little bit like a honeycomb, like a little spaced out. But what this should do here is transmit a lot of information through the putter head to your hand. So you should get a lot of feel on it. Now, I actually do have my old Adele putter right here. And this one is the Torque Balance putter. And I really love it. And the way they did that before were by putting in these little roll pins that are stacked there to give you a lot of feel off of the club face. So I think that this should be maybe an improvement because now we don't have additional metal in there. So it's just, I don't know if that's stamped or milled in there, but we get that texture that should do the same thing without having to add more material. On top of that, what you can see there is because we have a little bit of a texture instead of a flat surface, that should also get you a little bit of grip on the golf ball. So should maybe give it a little bit of spin, you know, grip that golf ball for that uh, fraction of a second that it's in contact with. Now, now, there is another difference here on the way they've machined this. So they have machined a lot of material out of the toe. You can see there that lightens it up and they have put a new weight in the back here and that puts more weight on the back. And this is a torque balance putter. So when you put it in the lie angle and you swing it, it stays square to the target. It doesn't have the tendency like toe balance putters to flop open or mallet putters or face balance putters to kind of open up and provide torque on your hands. It's just another force that you're trying to overcome when you're putting. But when I put Put this up here and just swing it it stays square to the target which means that it's less work you have to do so that when you line up and you get that face perfectly square to your golf hole and you just swing it the putter isn't fighting you out of that line it'll just follow it which gives you a little bit more help on the putting green now as you can see here they've done a little bit more color the color filled logo here it looks like this is a carbon fiber piece in here maybe to take some weight out of here put it up here on the face a little bit more just to kind of lighten everything up but one of my favorite pieces about this particular putter is the lines on this little removable plate right here so you can customize this and kind of get it in any design you want so you can get it with a dot no line a single line or dual lines and then the same thing down here dual lines no line one line 
so you kind of want to get it in a design that works for you but what i wanted is a single line right here so that i knew exactly where the center of the putter was so i knew where to line up the ball but then i wanted the dual lines right here because i've been using a lot of the triple track golf balls by callaway and marking other golf balls like the bridgestones and some of the other balls that i really like with the triple track line so i use that ball to line up to the hole and then this allows me to make sure that i am lining up the club face to the ball very well now does this all translate into a better putting experience? Well, let's go find out. So after playing some golf with this and hitting the greens with it, I busted out my practice putting green and I thought I would share some of my thoughts and show you some of the video from using the putter. Now, one of the things that I noticed about this and what I love about the torque balance putters is that it just stays square to your target. And so what that does is it really allows you to focus on the distance and lightly grip the putter grip so that you can be more delicate with it so that you can be a little bit more ginger and intentional with the putter. Instead of looking down and trying to keep the putter square, it just naturally wants to do that. And so the putter isn't twisting and torquing on your wrist. And it's just a slight difference than the other putters. It's just kind of that natural tendency to kind of over grip it so that you keep that putter face square. And you just don't have to do that with the Adele putters. Now, I actually use this putter and my other putter in a round of golf on the same day to just try them back to back. And one of the things that I really noticed here is that the original Adele putter, the torque balance putter, seemed a little heavier. What ended up happening is I could notice that the new EAS putter seemed a little lighter, which is actually what I really, really like. I like my putters light so that I have a lot of feel on them. So while it's not the most scientific experiment ever, I did go ahead and lay the putters onto my scale here. And what I found was pretty surprising. And while I'm sure all these numbers are published by Adele, the original putter was actually fairly heavy at 418 grams. Note that I am letting the putter grip just rest on the table on the far end. So I'm just kind of doing the same weight experiment on both putters. But if I take the EAS putter and also lay it on the scale, what I noticed here is that it kind of maxed out at 404 grams. So it's actually considerably lighter than the other putter, which I think helps give me the feel and the effect that I want. So all of that adds up to the fact that I was able to grip this putter with just the gentlest of grips, almost allowing the putter to fall out of my hands. And what that does is it allows me to have a ton of feel when I'm putting, but I also don't have to grip it harder just to keep the putter from twisting. And so I was able to dial in the lengths really, really well. Actually, what I was doing at the beginning was overshooting the hole with the putter because it was so much lighter and I was expecting to kind of muscle more weight through the shot. And so actually after going to the EAS, I was able to kind of just lighten it up and really dial in that distance in a way that I wasn't able to do it with my original torque balance putter. Now they are both torque balance, so I don't think you could go wrong with either of these putters. And in fact, the original torque balance putter I thought was an absolute achievement in terms of putter technology. And I wasn't sure how it was going to get better, especially when you are able to preserve the traditional looks of a blade style putter. And so it doesn't look weird or funky and you don't have big metal overhangs that are just kind of flopping around. Another little thing that I like, and it's kind of stupid to mention, but on the original Torque Balance putter, there are these little drilled holes on the back. So it has a really thick ridge on the back. And so what you can't do is you can't scoop up the golf ball off the green with the back of the putter. But the new putter, the ES putter, actually has a much more traditional style, a thin edge. And so you can scoop up that golf ball. So it's kind of one of those small things that I really actually enjoyed. I would say you can't go wrong with either of these putters. They both feel very similar, but if you like even more feel and a lighter head, I think the EAS putter is definitely the right way to go. On top of that, I love the fact that you have that interchangeable plate so that you can get different line markings that are more suited to your style of putting. And I think the way they pressed in the grooves on the 
face of the club on the ES putter maybe reduce the weight and I just really really like it and I love the look and the feel is absolutely fantastic. Now you do save a little bit of money with the original putter. I think it's $375 for that putter. If you go to the EAS putter, which I do think is an improvement over the original, you are going to spend $450. So it is not a cheap putter. It's not a cheap golf club for that matter. But man, I think that this one is absolutely amazing. And even though I wasn't necessarily sinking putts from a long ways away, I was definitely putting them more on track. In fact, I was skimming the cup on 10, 15, 20 foot putts that I probably would have missed much wider with almost any other putter that I've used before. So I highly recommend the Adele putters. I think they're the best on the market. If you want to pick them up, I'll put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. This is the most expensive golf club I've...